guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the Chick Litathon. I'm so excited for this. So basically the Chick Litathon is a month long readathon that is going throughout the month of May. It's being hosted by um, Sophie from All Things Equilateral, Lisa from Books and Smiles and Jen from Jen Talks Audiobooks. Um, they did this last year, so this is the second time of them running this readathon. Uh, but I didn't participate last year, um, and I sort of kicked myself for doing that just because I started getting back into that genre of books again. Uh, but I'm well and truly back into that genre now, and um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. So there are six challenges, and I quite like doing month-long readathons. I'm not averse to doing week-long ones but I just feel like I'll get more done during the month and I have much more of an opportunity to read other things at the same time rather than just being solely focused on that particular TBR. So it gives you a little bit of a free a little bit of freedom and I quite like that idea. So there are six challenges that they've set up uh, this year. So I'm going to go through each challenge and what book I have picked for that. So the first challenge is to read a Sophie Kinsella book and I have picked Shopaholic Abroad. I have ordered this from the library. It's the second book in the Shopaholic series. I read the first book quite a number of years ago now. I quite enjoyed it. I'd like to continue on and kind of see how it goes. I did have all of these books on my shelf at one point. Uh, but I unhauled them when I was kind of having a clear out of things but I knew I could get them from the library so yeah I've ordered this from the library and I'll be interested to see how the story continues. Challenge number two is to read a book with a pair of heels on the cover and when I first heard this challenge I was sort of thinking to myself I probably wouldn't have I certainly wouldn't have any physical books on my TBR that would fit this challenge and all I could think of was the uh, the cover for uh, The Devil Wears Prada, uh, which I read about 10 years ago now. Um, so I obviously can't, well I could reread it, but I don't really want to. Um, so, but I was having a look actually for some books for a different challenge. And I found this one. This is Truly Madly Guilty by Leanne Moriarty. And we've got a pair of heels on the cover. I have loved reading Leanne Moriarty's books. I've read two already, Big Little Lies and The Husband's Secret. And I liked both of those an awful lot. Um, this one is, um, she sort of writes sort of thrillers um but they're sort of like domestic um thrillers um so it says on the back this is a story which begins with a barbecue by the end of it a lifelong friendship will be in tatters a marriage on the rocks and an innocent bystander dead in just one evening six lives will change forever so it sounds really intriguing like i said i've really enjoyed leanne moriarty's books before um, so i'm looking forward to seeing whether i like this one Challenge number three was to read a chiclet book with a historical setting um, and so I was looking around on some lists um, because yeah I didn't really know kind of where to go with this because a lot of chiclet books tend to be more um, sort of contemporary. Um, this appeared on a list I was looking at on Goodreads, it's The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. Um, Kate Morton's books tend to have a modern timeline and a historical timeline. I've read one of her books before um, called The Lake House. It was a couple of years ago now and I really liked it. Um, and I've had three of her other books on my shelf for a while. So when that showed up, um, I thought I would kind of go for it. They're a bit longer books, so they're about 600 pages, yeah. Um, so, but there are only six books on this, um, on this TBR, so I should be able to get it done in the month. Challenge number four is to read a book set in Los Angeles or Hollywood. Again, I had to have a route around on some lists um, and I found November 9 by Colleen Hoover um, on a Goodreads list and this is one that I've had on my Kindle for a little while. All I know about this is that it's obviously set in Los Angeles and it's about um, a relationship between a writer and his muse I think. Um, I've not actually read a Colleen Hoover book before, um, I've heard mixed things about her writing but you know I'll judge for myself and um, we'll give it a go. 
Uh, challenge number five was to read a romance that has a meaningful plot to you. Um, so again, it kind of took me a while to figure out what I was going to do for this one. But in the end, I've gone for On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Um, this is a book that I've had on my Kindle again for a little while now. And it's a book that I've been a bit wary about. It's um, about a um, sort of teenage boy he's on a plane with his tutor i believe he's been ill for a little while and therefore that he has a private tutor because he has been sick and not sort of in school um his parents go away i think on holiday and then um he joins them a little bit later and his tutor goes with him um he's and then the plane crashes and they end up um, on this sort of like deserted island as it were and it's about the relationship that forms between the two of them sort of as they're on this island years later um yeah it, it sounds a little bit problematic to me but lisa from books and smiles has raved about this book um and so therefore the meaningful sort of aspects of it comes from that idea of am i going to find it problematic or not that's what I'm going for. It, it's a loose fitting, but whatever. And then challenge number six is to read a domestic thriller. And for that one, I'm going to go for Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Um, I've read, um, what's that one called? The Breakdown a couple of years ago now, and I really liked it. And I've got both of her, I think it's a her, isn't it? Yeah, both of her other books on my shelf, and I've just not picked them up yet. Um, so yeah this is about a marriage it says on the front the perfect marriage or the perfect lie so i really liked the twists and turns in her other book and i'm hoping i'm really gonna like this too so there you go guys that is my tbr for the chick list on this is going to be right up my street i'm really looking forward to reading all of these books that i've got on my tbr um, i'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below have you read any of these books are you going to be participating in chick list on um, i'll leave a link in the description box down below to um sophie's announcement video um so that you can go and check it out for yourself thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye